All right, so the question is, hey, I was just curious, uh, if considering your positive relationships with women, if you could make a video on your process of making friends with women. I've been considering it lately, but I've been blocked by my own fears. All right, so that's, that's what they're asking. Um, I don't have like a process, like a, to make friends. It's just kind of like not being weird. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, <laughs> like, there's right, no so, formula? No, no, no. Believe it or not. So, um, really, I just, when I find somebody who has a common interest in, that I have, then I'll just talk to them about that common interest. And if, like, I get the vibe that, oh, we, like, mesh really well, I'll talk about, I'll talk with them about other stuff. And that is, like, not dependent on whether they're a woman or not. So, um, so I made friends with Emmy because we, like, we, we know a lot of people, the same people, but uh, also video games. Yeah. Because so, I saw your stream and we started chatting of your stream, we found out we knew a bunch of the same people and stuff like that. Yeah. So and then yeah, so and that's I've met you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, I met most of you guys the last time we went to we went to Wayfair. Yeah. I met you guys. Um, and yeah. And y'all played like dodgeball together. Oh, we played paintball. 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 Yeah, dressed me as a T Rex. A ball. I was in a T Rex outfit. <laughs> yeah. So just ask them if they would wear a T Rex suit. <laughs> no. Go okay. No. Let's. <laughs> don't, 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 the T Rex. No. The T Rex was so hot. It was. Like, it was like a really. It was oh, a, don't do it because nah. the temperature. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah. No. So that's that. I don't have like a specific process. I just think about, um, you know, what what, what the common interests are, and if we what, if we vibe together. Uh, if we don't, if I feel like, oh, this isn't somebody that I have anything in common with and stuff like that, then that's not mm -hmm. going to be a friend of mine. It's like that kind of thing. You don't want to, like, push a friendship when it comes to making friends. Like, if you guys can't really have a solid conversation, then don't force it, I guess. Don't, like, strategically. It's a vibe, yeah. yeah, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. <laughs> like, the same thing you're saying. Like, just approach us as, as a normal human. Don't approach us as, like, a, a, a gender-specific type thing. If you want to be friends, you want to be friends. Yeah, it right. shouldn't be maybe gender specific like if you have a vibe and you and you're hitting it off and you have the same common interests and whatnot it's gonna work it's really that and, easy. and you should be able to please read the room yes it, be able to read social cues i think that's a huge point of that and for any any male female friends female female male male it doesn't matter if you're not hitting it off have the you know the sense to be like it's not working out ed what do you do I'm reading the room. Okay. Uh <laughs> I guess like my thing in my mind is like I don't know why you have to approach a male friendship and a female friendship any mm -hmm. differently. Like yeah. I, I really like the vibe thing because it's just like I always like go into a thing. It's like if I'm going to like we're going to whoever I meet friend or whatever, we're just going to attract each other. Like we're going to read each other's energy. So I always try to go into things as myself. And it's just I end up having like if I go to a party, I went to a party last night. I ended up talking to a ton of people. I had some really interesting conversations and it's like. I vibed with people and anyone I didn't, you know, I was just like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. And then I didn't, I didn't go back and talk to them. Yeah. But, um, it's just like, that's, it's like, just, that's, that's a polite yeah. way to excuse yourself. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> just be like, you know, and then go to the bathroom and then just go to a different part of the house. But yeah, it's just, I go up with like, <laughs> that is such a like, Why are you saying like, it like, like that? Like, that? <laughs> no, that's how it is though. Like, you're just like, I, I gotta go get a drink of water. And you're like, hell. Okay, yeah. so, and you go the other way. Yeah. But how, how would they be able to read the cues? <laughs> So like they did not. Bathroom. They did not figure it out. If yeah, every, the room. If right. every girl you're talking to has to go to the bathroom while you're talking to them, <laughs> so you might, that's, that's a side. You that's might a... need to kind of re like evaluate <laughs> the way you talk to people. Yeah. yeah. I mean, same as kind of what everyone's been saying. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's vibes. Yeah. Body, body language. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Body language. That's body a huge language. one. I, I worked with Cat, and that's how I met Cat, and then like. We vibed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After, after, it sounds after, dumb, but it's so true. No, that, that's it's it's it really like, that simple. It is that simple. We actually yeah. we met we met over Slack first before we, we actually yeah. met in person. And he always seemed cool. Slack, so when he was Zoom and yeah. then Oh, it was like a work thing. The, my yeah. shoot. Okay. So yeah, Slack, Zoom, and then he was in LA for a shoot and I was like, Oh, let's hang out and we hung out, we got lunch and then he ended up moving here and yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. And that's how I met everyone. Everyone else. Oh. <laughs> so so Question, what is a body language sign that shows that they don't want to be friends? Uh, me, I, I recognize a bit of like recoil, usually. And that's that's kind of like, like a, oh, a, like, a physical like body like... space thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. What I, and then there's also, you can, at least I've started to notice uh, facial cues. Where if there's, you know, 
Oh yeah, like the, the where you're looking around. Yeah. We you're looking like, oh, where you're not like, engaged in the yeah. conversation kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, what I uh, notice is uh, body language as far as like where their body is directed. Because mm -hmm. usually when um, somebody's yeah. really engaged when they're talking to me, their body's like facing towards yeah. me. Also and nice. if they're, yeah, if, yeah this, if they're not mm -hmm. feeling the conversation, then they might like turn like their shoulders going what towards me. What if they just have a good that. side, you know? Like, <laughs> like my left side want to see. Like, well, I, 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 I think it's just like, like this. But like you'll notice like people are just like, <laughs> like when somebody's engaged in the conversation or you guys are like really vibing, you can, you can see that in like the way that they're showing towards you. But when they start like, you know, reading the room, um and yeah. their body's like elsewhere and then you're here and then just like you know or they're checking their phone they're checking they're, they're looking at was like, eye contact yeah. is yeah. good too right yeah yeah exactly. when i'm really engaged with someone i'm looking them in the eyes and i'm like oh because i talk with my hands okay so you're telling right yeah so when you but, start realizing like um oh this person is not really engaged in this conversation maybe we don't have as much in common or whatever maybe this isn't like a you know mm -hmm. a budding friendship maybe we this like when this conversation is over, maybe this I just okay. I'm yeah, right. Like, hey, I yeah, another, nice, nice combo. And I think another thing that ruins the vibe is like don't go into things with an agenda. Like it's mm -hmm. it's important that it's like okay, I'm trying to make new friends. That's cool to put that out there. But like when you're talking to someone and you start like imagining like a future with them in any way or just seeming a little too like <laughs> desperate, people can feel that and it's really off putting. And I know this because I actually used to have this problem. I. uh was like a former like ugly kid and so it's like i really clung to friendships and i realized years later how that weird weirded people out the intensity i like kind of tried to force friendship onto people so i really worked on just like just vibe with people if they float in so it's like if you're being too intense and if you seem like desperate people are going to read that and not want to be friends with you it's okay to go in being like hey like i've i've changed friend groups a couple times and it's just like it's just, like to go into a place open to something is different than I need more friends and it's just like it's going to just kind of because that's a lot to put on another person yeah. mm -hmm. it's just like you should be able to kind of take care of your own needs and people are going to like sense that that you're like kind of super desperate or if you like just met someone and you're trauma dumping a little too yeah, much I that's that. a big one I, I, that. I, that. I, <laughs> that, I feel like I trauma dumped on you like what? several times that, okay, well, I'm, but only if you're also responding <laughs> I'm different because everyone trauma dumps on me I attract <laughs> that though I think that's just the way that I like present People are like, oh, I can tell this guy anything. He's not going to judge me kind of thing. So I get that from like all yeah. directions. People are just like repenting. Like, yeah, you're, yeah. <laughs> I, I did accidentally yeah. trauma dump on Kat, but she like asked That was a few, different. You <laughs> asked a few questions like, well, if you want to know, I, here's Well, everything. I asked for the trauma. It's just when people start dumping the trauma. Consensual trauma. Yeah, right. consensual like, trauma. Okay, consensual yeah. trauma. Consensual trauma. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. All in all, I would say you really just got to yeah feel the vibe of the conversations when you're like talking to somebody. And see if you guys mesh. If you don't mesh, you don't force it. You just mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I, here's another question for you: Like, how do you make friendships from online? Like, what is appropriate? Like, what's casual? I feel like personally, it's better to like comment on things publicly before you like slide into the DMs. I agree with that. Yeah, you, and like, like do make things sure that are funny and like like yes. you know engaging with what they're doing. Yeah. Um, I would say I, I never I, if I'm talking to somebody I would never if I'm if I only know them online I would never just immediately slide into their DMs. Um, I always make sure that I've commented on enough of their stuff where they like know that I'm doing that. Like they've yeah, liked yeah. one of my comments or a couple of like on my comments stuff like that. Or we've had like banter in the comment mm -hmm. section or something mm -hmm. before I would slide into DMs. Like if I if I if I feel like oh this is a person I could be friends with I like their content or I like what they produce or whatever and that that kind of thing that's how I would go about it is after uh, you know enough of that, or if there's a video or something that they've done mm -hmm. in particular that, oh, I could like message them about that and ask, or say, oh, I really like this, or I thought this was really funny, stuff like that. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, I'd give it some time. I make sure they know who I am. They've seen me in their comment section before. They're like, oh, I'm a familiar face. Yes. Before I, yes. Like, I don't want to go into a conversation with anyone and I'm just like a complete stranger. You know, yeah, it's also yeah. very, it would be very <laughs> entitled to just DM someone without like looking at their work or their stuff. Because mm -hmm. then it's just like you, it, it, it would give them the sign you want something yeah, that yeah, yeah. you, you know, shouldn't at this point in the relationship mm -hmm. even be thinking about. So. Right, yeah. So yeah, that, that's how I, how I go about it. Well, what if you just want candy? Uh, all right. We're <laughs> talking about book plugs. What the fuck? You talk about butt plugs on the table that you need to get off. Okay. 